Where? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have you had a good time, John? I've had a, I've had a difficult time. Have you? Yeah. Have you? Well, it's, it's extraordinary, I think. Yeah. Can I creep away in there? Of course. I'm absolutely enchanted by these... Gargoyles. <laughs> Gargoyles. Why are they all these wonderful colours? Um, because I had little spots of paint left over <laughs> on my palette, little spots of pure colour that, from the edge of the mixing. Yeah, so it's a bit to waste. Yes. <laughs> right. But, and it makes them stand out more. Oh, and I love that now that the... Uh, oh, here I go again. Um, the cloister has sort of emerged. I think that's so imaginative to, to put that in. Right. Jenny. I, I, I like the way that you've got something that's so central and such a contrast, and it really wobbles beautifully, but very it's very convincing with the whole of the painting i think it's absolutely magical mm. there's something there's something that i'd like to to know but you've got dark that comes up this side yes. dark that goes up that side and i just wonder why you've left the whole of this passage here when you had the opportunity to make those silhouettes because the chimneys and the flying gargoyles would work better in a washed on a washed out background I think it's got such a wonderful sort of fairy tale, magical quality about it. It's lovely. I, I love the way that you've really exploited some of the qualities of paint here. You really scrubbed into thickish paint yeah. to get a line and, and splattered things about. And I think also that, uh, I don't know what you feel, Hannah, but I feel that the pen wash that you've put in is not intrusive. Sometimes it yeah, tends to, yeah. to contain the colours and be rather illustrative, right. but I think this goes across nicely and, and works very well. And, and some of that ink is in fact watercolour, so I make up a, a watercolour and dip the pen in that, and then that That's dissolves nice. away. Mm. Yes. No, I think it's a lovely painting. Yeah, Wonderful. Yeah. So do I. Thank you Thanks. very much, John. Thank, Thank you. you. Is Luther's mastery of perspective and balance enough to tip the scales in his favour? Pam's romantic scene is the stuff of fairy tales, but will it have a happy ending? Or are these twisted towers and fantastic creatures to be John's dream ticket to the final? Only one artist can go through to Friday's regional final. Which one of the three will it be? <laughs> well, everybody, the <laughs> perfect end to a perfect day. The yeah, cup that cheers. Hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. <laughs> I have watched Jenny marching up and down with a very furrowed brow since you all <laughs> finished painting because she's found it really, really difficult today. So this is where I'm very glad that I don't have to make any decisions about who's won. But you do, Jenny, so who's got the wooden box today? Oh, it's not a nice position to be in, having to choose like this. I think what has stood out more than anything else today is the fact that you've all used watercolour in such an imaginative and expanded way really really used the medium to its full but as hannah says there's only one person who can can win this sadly and i think that one contestant has used has kept the the quality of the watercolour and has also expanded it into something else without actually falling into any of the obvious traps that might occur and today, John, you're the winner. <laughs> well done, John. Thank you. Pal Box. Can oh, wow. I pass this to you, Pam? I'm very well done. One to Luther, Luther, the new very watercolour well done champion. Indeed to thank all you of you. It's a very set. difficult decision. Well, I'd like to thank you all very much indeed, too, because it's been a really, really good day at Laycock Abbey. Tomorrow, you'll find us at Eiford Manor. I hope we will see you then. Until then, goodbye. Well done. Thank you. Why not try a watercolour painting for yourself or improve your existing skills with the Watercolour Challenge Practical Painting Course? It's on sale now and all good news agents priced 99p for part one and £1.80 for all other weekly parts. Back orders and subscriptions are available by calling 0870 727 7377.